In this video I will explain how you can make a spreadsheet for a specific loan and a fixed annual percentage rates in a certain number of years and what your monthly payment would be and then it shows you what the end result is after 360 months. What is the balance, the interest, the principal, the cumulative interest and the cumulative principal. I will do that once with formulas on a spreadsheet and once with VBA and I made a shortcut control shift L it asks you what is your loan amount type whatever you want your annual percentage rates the number of years and it creates a spreadsheet like before but automatically I will explain both ways to you uh, if, if you miss certain things or if you don't quite understand it, then you need more information. These are the three CDs I created for you and those are the two books, all about Excel and also about VBA. You can find them at genesispc.com. First the sheet way. I put here the information needed to do all of this instead of using input boxes. And then I put in this cell the function row A1. That means it gives you the row number of A1, which is 1. And when you copy that down, it goes automatically into row A2, row A3, etc. So that is a fast way of doing that. Then in the date one, I took the date function. based on the year function of now which is today's date and time today's month function based on now plus plus a5 and a5 is one so that it will start the next month and we want the first of the month copy that formula down. The balance here is C2 and the balance there is C2 minus or C5 in this case minus the principal C5. We will see how we calculate that. The payment is based on F2 and F2 uses the PMT function. The PMT function needs to know the rate but make sure that it is the annual rate, so you have to divide it by 12 per month. The number of periods is E2, the number of years, times 12, because it's a monthly issue. And the present value is the loan C2. Copy that formula down. So that is the payment. The interest is based on the function I PMT, which is basically the same idea. The rate is D2 fixed locked absolute divided by 12 the period we are in is a5 period 1 and then 2 3 4 the number of periods is the number of years times 12 and the present value is the loan value the principle is a similar situation but this time based on the function p p and t i think it speaks all for itself now the cumulative int cumulative interest is this one plus that one plus that one etc so we put in there equals sum e5 locked through e5 so in the next cell it will be e5 through e6 e5 through e7 etc and sum all of that that is a cumulative interest a similar story for the cumulative principle we want f 5 through F5, but the first F5 is locked or absolute, and you lock them by using the F4 key, colon F5 non-locked, relative. So in the next cell, when you copy it down, it will be F5 through F6, F5 through F7, etc. And you do that up to the last period, which is 360 and that happens to be in row 64. So how do you do that quickly? You start here 
and you want to go to row 364 I did that with control arrow down control arrow up takes you back to the top of that section and I start here and I want to go to E364 and don't enter for then you jump there so do shift enter that means it includes everything on the way then you type your formula in there equals row A1 and put it in all the selected cell with control enter now how did we do this one on a new sheet it calculated automatically all these results let's go to VBA alt F11 and we start in a module a function that I call loan sub loan I declared a series of variables these are all value type variables and this is an object type variable then we ask what the loan is and we store that in C loan which is of the currency type we use an input box what is the loan amount comma comma let's say by default 65,000 what is your annual percentage rate and we store that in P APR don't forget to divide by 12 then what is the duration of the loan the number of years comma comma let's say by default 30 times 12 don't forget times 12 then we create a new worksheet and we point to it with OWS which is of the worksheet type from the collection of worksheets add one and then you can regulate whether you want it before or after something I'm going to say not before so leave that empty comma after the active sheet then I need the headers or labels so in cells 1-1, one, one, row 1, column 1, we put period, month, balance, monthly, interest, principal. Cumulative interest, cumulative principal. And then it's going to do its work. So I say to Excel application, set, put the cursor to Excel weight. It's that hourglass or nowadays uh, uh, round button. Then we say we are going to offset all the time from range A1. So I use a WIF statement. And I start the WIF statement with 4i equals 1, 2i duration. That is the number of periods we have. And we put in the next cell down. So dot offset, that means offset from range A1 by I rows which is 1 the first time in the same column and put the formula equals and then here is what you would type in the formula bar equals row open close parentheses minus 1 then in the next column we put basically this formula so we offset by I rows this time by one column to the right and the formula is double quotes equals date year today or now it doesn't really matter now also has the time value but that is irrelevant in this case because you only want the year part comma the month of today plus close your string that you opened here Hook onto it, space, ampersand, space, I, that is the month, plus 1, etc., 2, 3, 4, so it goes into the next month, next month, next month. Hook onto it again, space, ampersand, open your quotes again. We need now the last argument, which is this one, and put that in double quotes, comma, 1, this is close double quotes and give it a number format the three months that means april is apr and the year in two digit or four digit if you want to then the next column has the first cell the loan and then the previous one let me show you that is this here the previous one the balance minus principal 
So we put in offset i column 2. I use the formula r1c1. I will explain very soon why. And I say equals iif. I could have done this with a regular if statement, but I use the function iif. If i happens to be 1, that means it's the first one, then I want the loan in there, c loan. Otherwise, I want formula R1C1. Notice that formula R1C1 can also hold a number. But now I need this part. So I say I want from the previous row equals R and then inside brackets, not parentheses, not braces, minus 1. The previous row, but in column 3, plus F3, plus in the previous from the previous row, column 6, F3 is in 6. Don't forget to close your parentheses, of course, for the if statement. And then we use the PMT function. So in offset by three columns, we put the formula equals PMT. Close your string. Who come to it? Space ampersand space PAPR. Hook onto it one more, the comma, the literal comma, space ampersand space i duration, hook onto it another literal comma, hook onto it c long, and don't forget at the end to literally close that function with a closing parenthesis. IPMT is the same idea. So I don't think I have to explain that anymore, but this time I have to be a little careful. I need to know the period. So the period is in the same row, column 1. So the brackets always mean that you offset a column, but without the brackets you take that exactly the way it is. And then finally we do another offset again for PPMT. I think that all speaks for itself now. Then we need a cumulative function. So I use formula R1C1 again, equals sum. In the fixed row 2, the fixed column 5, up to the row we happen to be in, column 5 is fixed. And do the same for the last one. But this time it is C6, C6. Next I, don't forget that the for loop has to be closed. Don't forget to close the with statement, end with. And then I just did some cosmetic things. I say to all the cells from their entire columns, give me an auto fit. So everything fits nicely in the entire column. And set the cursor back to default and end sub. So that should do the job. Um, the results are exactly the same as before. If you have a good memory, these were the results from VBA. These were the results that we calculated here. Let's say we have a 60,000 loan. So monthly is 344. Control Shift L should do that now, if I say I want $60,000 as a loan, and the same APR, the same number of years, and here is the end result, 344 monthly. If you are wondering about certain parts, I don't understand all the details, this is your help for it. Genesispc.com